Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all. This is a short video to answer this uh, beautiful Abdul. His name is Nightmare. Uh, I will read with you and you can read with me on screen what he's saying. This donkey always brag that he knows Arabic as if he is the only one in the world who knows Arabic. There are more than 300 millions who knows Arabic. Hmm. All right. Uh, the thing which you don't know that Arabic in Quran is not the mother tongue of this donkey or any demon Arab in this world <laughs> a second ago he just said there are the 300 million Arab but now nobody speak Arabic in the same line not a single person speak Arabic hmm all right oh he just said not a single Huh? The, the, or the Quranic Arabic, this then thing, read with me, which you do not know that Arabic in the Quran is not mother tongue of this donkey or any damn Arab in this world. <laughs> and this guy from Morocco. Moroccan people, if you speak or if they speak Arabic, you have no idea what they are saying. I'm not making fun of the Moroccan, you can, you know, it's mixed with barbarian. Amaziri, French, it's a you know, collection of languages. Now he just said that not even one person in this world speak the language of the Quran. And that explained, and he is calling me supposedly donkey, this guy is 50 years old, he learned from me. Not from the 300 million Muslims who speak Arabic as he claimed, that his God is not a spirit. Imagine 50 years old Moroccan who go to the mosque every Friday. He bent his ass to Allah upside down And he cannot deny that it's registered in YouTube Many stupid Muslims they don't know until now that their God is not a spirit and he don't have a spirit You know when God is a physical being, but he don't have a spirit. He is an he's an idol. He's a status You know what do you mean? He have no spirit spirit, spirit mean life so If you don't have a spirit, it's mean you are dead body what the difference between dead body and a living body? Nothing except the spirit. The second your spirit leave you, you are a dead body. So this idiot, all his life and all the mosque he go to, and all the Muslims around him and his family and his his tribe and his street and all the people he spoke to never learn from them, because they themselves they are stupid like him, idiot. That his God is not a spirit. So how come you Muslims? You just admitted that nobody in this earth speak the tongue or his mother tongue is the Quranic Arabic. But you just said the expert, Quranic expert, they are the one who know 7th century Arabic and I know this donkey is not one of them. Hmm. So now only Quran, the Quranic expert is the only one can understand the Quran. But if we go on the Quran, you will see that Allah He said we made it in Arabic language, so 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 you might understand. <laughs> but now the the understanding of the Quran is only the Quranic expert. So Muslims cannot understand the Quran. I want to remind this idiot that he's a prophet in the hadith. Before I go there, uh, he said in his time. In the time of Muhammad not today all right he asked Allah to send the Quran in seven Arabic Quran seven Arabic Quran now why seven Arabic Quran because he said that my people are not capable of uh, understanding the Quran if it is only one Quran in one uh, Arabic uh, uh, language because Muslim they claim there's many uh, too many uh, uh, kind of Arabic like the Arabic of Yemen is different from the Arabic of Hijaz etc so Muhammad he requested seven Arabic Quran because they use different seven words or different let us say <laughs> different totally different language different words different meaning and the purpose is to make them understand and Muhammad he said my people are not capable so you idiot as long as you are saying that those who they are understand the Quran is only those who speak the, the mother tongue how come Muhammad in the time of his mother tongue time 
he requested other people to or more sorry more Quran to come so he can explain it or let us say sorry they can understand it and they can handle it and he keep asking for more and more for they are incapable read with me carefully my people are not capable of doing it doing what learning is now those are people who speak the mother tongue or they don't are you telling me the time of Muhammad the tribe of Quraysh they don't speak with Arabic and they don't speak the mother tongue of Muhammad this is how stupid your answer is so even in the time of your prophet he made a statement claiming that he asked Allah to send him seven Quran and by the way uh, if the Arab at that time and they are small in number they needed seven Quran in order to understand it huh? but yet until now all the Muslim scholars they disagree about the meaning of verses and the only agreement they have they say we agree about not to agree about what this verse means even chapter 3 verse number 7 in the Quran says that there is a big part of the Quran nobody knows what this means save Allah so now as long in the time of Muhammad there is nobody can understand what this is mean and nobody understand what this is about and people they have no idea how to 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 uh, they are incapable as your prophet mentioned then how you a Moroccan boy a Pakistani boy at least a Moroccan he speaks it with Arabic but how a Pakistani or Indian or American or German he can he can be capable of doing it can you explain to us but the story behind this is very simple Muhammad because he's a fake prophet false man he when he recited the Quran he don't recite it the same as he did yesterday so in order to cover his ass for being a liar because remember the you know he is not explaining he is supposed to reciting and according to Muslims he cannot change the words those are the words of Allah so each time Muhammad he recites something it comes differently so the people they ask like <laughs> why it's different you, yesterday you said that the, the, you know the same verse supposedly but it's, it's, you, you said it a different way so he's he claimed that he asked Allah to send him the Quran in seven daily now here you ask yourself can you do bazaar with God and are you saying to me that Muhammad he knows that his people don't uh, are not capable but Allah he do not know so Muhammad he fixed the decision of Allah who decided to send one Quran and why Allah did not send the, Quran, the, the Torah to the Jews uh, in 12 uh, dialect you know there is a 12th tribe <laughs> and why Allah did not send the, the, the Bible <laughs> in, in seven in seven the seven gospel <laughs> and why it is number seven I mean what is the seven what is the seven dialect exist it's a joke so you, you I feel sorry for the Abdul you're a prophet this is why he made the verse in the Quran says any verses Allah he abrogate or cause the prophet to forget he will make something similar or better and ask yourself what kind of God he want to make something similar to his Quran but yet he cause you to forget the Quran I mean how stupid it is to say to you I will make you I will cause you to forget my words but I will make similar words and you will remember them and you know isn't it the Quran promised Muhammad that you are going to recite and you will not forget so it's such a stupid statement collection of contradictions and those naive dummy Abdul who worship a God is not even exist he's not even an idol to, to, to worship no more because it would, he's destroyed so a God who have no spirit this is Allah he have a physical being he have a leg he have a hand he have a face he have an ass but yet he have no spirit so what is that you give it a title I would like to see people making a comment and tell me if someone his name is Allah he have a hand he have a leg he have a mouth um, he is sitting in the top of a chair and he is carried by eight angels and he is so heavy to the point when the angels try to carry him and I can show you the reference from the Islamic expert as he called them <laughs> from like from Ibn Kathir or al uh, they could not even carry him because he's so heavy so heavy man so he is so heavy this God is so heavy eight angels carrying him hardly and even when they lift him up he helped them to do it otherwise they would not be able to do it and he has no spirit same time we have a language which Muhammad himself saying that his people in his time are incapable of doing it 
and that explained why Muhammad himself could not explain the Quran because Muhammad is just a fake man have you ever heard of a prophet he cannot explain himself and why his people are not capable what, so what is the duty are you saying to me at the time of Muhammad when he received the Quran the first Quran he could not he is not capable of explaining the Quran so he needed the second one so they might understand and then the third one and then the fourth one and the fifth one and the seventh one is that a joke and since when you 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 discuss with God about how many I mean what kind of God is God Hey Allah come on two are you kidding me my people will not be able to do it I need more Allah has sent three are you kidding me three no way come on brother Muhammad Allah Akbar Allah Akbar Allah so Allah he sent four hey, come on four are you what's wrong with you I keep I, I'm going to keep asking you like this I beg you bargain please so five oh no come on don't you know how stupid my people are as an example look at the Muslims in Morocco or look at the Muslims in Saudi Arabia look how they are so smart Muslims they cannot they are not capable my friend and remember here is talking about Arab who they speak the mother tongue of Muhammad yet they are not capable and Muhammad he needed saving Quran and after he got the saving Quran do the Muslims understand the Quran until now they don't and by the way where is the saving Quran you Muslims you claim it's reserved hmm if Muhammad his idea and he his God agree with him that saving Quran is the way to explain Islam where is the saving Quran thank you very much for watching feel free to download the video and share it with your friends including the smart Abdul Christ is Lord Islam is false and this is was a Christian Prince with you if you like to read my books to learn more about this cult you can search on amazon.com for a Christian Prince and you will see the list of my books and remember by the way soon we will have my new book about sexuality in Islam I did not make a final decision about the name but it might be uh, uh, Allah and sex uh, is going to be published in Amazon so don't forget to reserve your copies as soon we have published it and it's going to be two volume thank you very much for listening Christ is Lord Islam is false I mean to that bye bye